so what is going on guys my name is mehul and welcome back to another swift ui video in which we're gonna take a look at how we can create custom views with swift ui and by custom view what i mean is a view which you can use which you have created yourself for example we have been making you making use of views like spacer image text text field all of those right now you can extract a particular piece of view um, and you can basically make use of that in your swift ui code so you can see that it is very useful in case you have repetitive views for example we have a bunch of text views here so we can extract this this kind of thing and directly make use of that in a view all right so let's see how that would work so what i'm gonna do is first of all i'm just gonna get this out right here i'm gonna cut this and i'm gonna say that this is another struct remember in swift ui views are struct and i'm gonna say this is my input text field and i'm gonna say view it's a, it conforms to the view protocol and what we want to do is again have a body property which gives us some view and right here i'm gonna paste this thing right and uh, for the username part i'm just gonna include this state right here right so here now what we can do is as you can see that we don't have our username here anymore so what we could do is just say input text field just like that right and here we go. we're gonna just throw in a v stack real quick and there we go right and input text field gets us this right and we want this input text field too but you're gonna see that there are certain differences in both of these fields right we have different labels we have different placeholder text we have different kind of view itself right so what we could do is we could actually pass in parameters to this particular um, view our our own view which we are creating so how do we do that well let's just start with the label so i'm going to say my label is username for this field and my label is password for this field and i'm just gonna comment this thing out and for this one as well all right so once we do that what we should see is we have this input text field and on the right let me just retry the preview and what we want to say is this label is a let label is a string which we're gonna pass so we're just gonna keep it to that once we do that swift now knows that we're gonna pass in a particular label right here which we can now access label just like that right so now if we go ahead and try this again we should be able to see that we got our username and password just like that right so what we could do here is just say that it's alignment alignment is leading so that we get our um desired effect we're gonna see that it aligns to the left that is leading in left to right languages and what we want to do next is probably pass in a placeholder so i'm gonna say a placeholder would look like john wick right and for this the placeholder shall look like pass wood something like that and again just like we did with the label we're gonna make use of the placeholder we're gonna say this would be a string and i'm just gonna go in and throw in the placeholder just right here all right so once we once we have done that what next do we want is uh you want this to be a secure text field for password right so i'm just gonna pass in secure text field to be true right and with that being done we could just pretty much create our own initializers here 
So I'm going to see um, if I just pass in what do we have in here. Label as string, placeholder as string. I just want to initialize self.label with label and self.placeholder with placeholder. If I am doing anything like label, placeholder, and uh, what do we have in here? Is it a secure text field? And my phone keeps on ringing. Give me a second. And there we go. So for secure text field, is it boolean? And uh, self dot secure secure text field is secure text field and here what we want to do is just initialize it with false i'm just gonna say let secure text field is boolean all right so once we have that in place what we want to do is conditionally render a text field and now and finally in swift ui what you need to do is make use of if else to conditionally render views so i'm gonna say if it's a secure text field then what i want to do is based with the the label as uh let's just keep it username for now we're gonna handle this date later on the placeholder would obviously be replaced with the placeholder and uh, the rest remains set. So now if we take a look, it's and yeah, so once you do that, you're going to see that we get our same preview again. But this time you could see that this right here is a whole particular view. That is this particular view, which much more is um, very important in creating clean and maintainable code bases so anyway swift ui offers us create syntax and on the on the top of that you can create your own custom components like this so yeah this is a basic tutorial on creating that so that's all for this one if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and in the next one we're going to continue with the login application